Hello viewers, welcome to yet another edition of Savavi with Shantia Stephen. And you're trying to have a conversation and the child picks up the remote control and increases the, the volume. I find that very rude and disrespectful. In the past when growing up, when you met an adult, you were the first person to greet the adult. You never waited for the person to greet you first. Today on our show, we're going to be talking about a very important aspect which most people are losing out on these days. It's a call to concern for parents, for guardians, for the older generation to teach these younger ones the way they would understand. I call this respect. Most of us do not show respect anymore in our societies. It is true that every society has its way in which they portray this respect. In your society, respect can be A and another person's society, it looks like B. But there are still some common grounds that we can stand for when it comes to respect. For example, growing up, when I walk around our compound or I walk around the road, around our, the road and I meet an older person, an elderly person, I don't expect that elderly person to greet me first. It is just out of respect, it's just normal, it's just the right way for me as a child to greet the person. I could say good morning, I could greet in one way good afternoon or good evening. I would not expect that person to come and greet me, a child, first. But nowadays, that's what happens. You find a child, the child cares less about whoever is there and is expecting you to greet first. And sometimes when you greet the frown, they are just, they twist their faces and they don't even as much as answer back. And when they grow older, you find this happening. You find people working in the same office and they can pass each other without saying a good morning. It's because of the way they were brought up or the way they saw it happen around their neighborhood or in their families. So we are called upon to train these children to know that as children, when you meet older people, learn to greet them first by saying good morning with a smile and not good morning as if you're talking to your child. Another aspect of this respect that some people are losing out on is when you find some older people, your parents are in the house with their friends, their colleagues, they are talking and a child just pops in and is contributing in that discussion and then starts laughing yeah, 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 and you're talking and talking and talking as though I witnessed this once and I was shocked. Some of these children don't know. Some of them were never trained. We cannot blame them. They can only give what they have. So we should train them, consciously teach them, intentionally teach respect to our children. You know, I just had a little one out there and I went picking up one or two people to get their ideas about respect. Let's hear what they have to say to us. One of the things that I find children of today doing, which we didn't do when we were growing up, it's when you have friends in the house and you're trying to have a conversation and the child picks up the remote control and increases the, the volume. I find that very rude and disrespectful. It could be a physical meeting with friends, it could be on a phone, but the child doing that is, is really rude. So I always tell my children, when I have friends around, you have to excuse us and come back later. Or you turn down the volume and be patient for us to be done. Most of the time, even, I will always advise that they excuse us because sometimes we can go into conversations that are not meant for kids, adult conversations. So they know when I'm on the phone or I have friends around, they have to find another place to go to. In the past when growing up, when you met an adult, you were the first person to greet the adult and you always attached the title of uncle or auntie if the person was older than you, but you never waited for the person to greet you first. Nowadays, the younger generation, 
I've not noticed them greeting as much and respecting the adults as much. When you meet a younger person, you're the one to try to greet the person instead of the person just spontaneously greeting you. I think those are a few things that are changing. Pour moi, le respect, c'est avoir de la considération pour l'autre. C'est une forme de politesse. Et le respect doit être mutuel. C'est-à-dire, c'est pas parce qu'on est parent qu'on va demander à l'enfant tout à l'heure de son, son dire s'il te plaît ou dire merci après que le travail soit fait. Euh, néanmoins, il est inadmissible qu'un enfant refuse de rendre service à son parent. J'ai été témoin d'une scène où une dame a demandé à sa fille de débarrasser la table et l'enfant a refusé carrément. Pour moi, c'est un manque de respect, quoi. It's really, really sad. It's really a serious thing. It's a call. It's a call for concern to us now in our generation. You find a child in a place in a garden. The child is there. They are all seated. And an older person comes, walks in. And these children don't even realize that this elderly person is standing. They just sit and they continue chatting. Even when the older person may even touch them or want to ask for a seat. The way they would talk to you, you wonder where they are coming from. Sometimes they are just being rude naturally. But most of the times, they have not been taught what they should do. We cannot think that these children will just assume that this is how it's supposed to happen. We should teach them, be intentional about these things. When an older person is there, you can't be sitting when that person is standing. In my days, you don't try that because it's a hard knock that will get you from that chair and you just disappear from that place. And when you disappear, don't dare cry because you cry, they will beat you for crying. When they beat you for crying, they will beat you again for not stopping to cry even though it's hurting and you're not stopping they will beat you again for not smiling while they are and you have to come and apologize to that older person hey our generation back then but today children just do the way they feel like doing it i call upon all of us to intentionally teach this aspect of respect to our children the world today will only get better when in our families we change and one family at a time will make the society better. Thanks very much for watching and I hope we'll leave a comment. Tell me those aspects of respect that you know so that all of us together we can learn and we can teach our children, we can teach the younger generation, even the older ones who don't know these things. Why not subscribe if you haven't? Why not like and share? Never forget to leave it better than you meant it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.